TikTok, known for its quirky 15-second videos, has been illegally and secretly harvesting vast amounts of personally identifiable user data and sending it to China, according to a proposed class action lawsuit filed in California federal court last week. The lawsuit also accuses the company and its Chinese parent company ByteDance of taking user content such as draft videos without their consent and having ambiguous privacy policies. It raises concerns that data gathered by TikTok could be used to identify, profile and track users in the US. The company is benefiting from this alleged activity because it uses this data to sell targeted ads, the lawsuit alleges. TikTok's light-hearted fun comes at a heavy cost, according to the lawsuit, which was filed on Friday. The allegations against the popular short video app are the latest example of the growing security concerns surrounding TikTok, which surpassed 1.5 billion downloads worldwide in November. The U.S. government is also reportedly looking into the app for potential security risks. Misty Hong, a college student and resident of Palo Alto, California, is suing ByteDance, TikTok and Musical.ly, a lip-sync app that was rebranded as TikTok, for allegedly violating a federal computer fraud law, the California Constitution's right to privacy and other laws. TikTok videos often include close-ups of people's faces, allowing the company to gather biometric data on its users, according to the lawsuit. Once a user shoots a video and clicks the next button, the videos are transferred to various domains without their knowledge. This happens before users even save or post a video on the app, the lawsuit states. Hong downloaded TikTok in March or April 2019 but never created an account, according to the lawsuit. Months later, she discovered TikTok made one for her. She created five or six videos using the app but never saved or published the videos. Still, TikTok secretly took the videos and her data without her knowledge and sent the information to servers in China, according to the lawsuit. TikTok is gathering a trove of data about its users, including their phone and social network contacts, email addresses, IP address, location and other information, according to the lawsuit. The company allegedly uses different tactics to conceal that they're transferring user data. Even when a user closes the app, it still harvests biometric and user data, the lawsuit states. Citing articles from news outlets such as CNBC, Quartz and Affinity Magazine, the lawsuit alleges user data was sent to China. It lists several Chinese servers the data was transferred to before and after February 2019. TikTok and Hong's lawyers didn't immediately respond to a request for comment. TikTok was the most downloaded app of 2019 more than any other app in the country. More teenagers are on TikTok now than use Facebook. It counts millions and millions and millions of Americans as users, but it is owned by a Chinese company that includes Chinese Communist Party members in leadership, and it is required under Chinese law to share user data with Beijing. And TikTok has admitted that it has sent user data to China. To put it bluntly, this is a major security risks risk for the American people. And what kind of data is TikTok collecting as it runs on our phones? A heck of a lot more than you would think. Images, of course, that users post. But TikTok also collects information about the messages that you send, about the apps that you use, the other apps on your phone. It collects the sites that you visit. It collects your search history. It collects your keystrokes. It collects your location data. It stores all of this and maybe lots, lots more. And I can tell you, as the father of two small children uh, who already have many of their friends on social media, even though they're quite young, I find this absolutely horrifying. And we know that it's a national security risk. Since our last hearing on this subject, the Pentagon, the Department of State, the Department of Homeland Security, and the TSA have all banned their employees and service members from using TikTok on government devices. In fact, the Pentagon even went so far as to say that employees should have their children uninstall TikTok from their personal devices. That's pretty extraordinary. But actually, it's only prudent. And that's why today I'm announcing I will introduce legislation to ban the use of TikTok by all federal employees on all federal government devices. This is a necessary step to protect the security of the United States and the data security of every American.